welcome or welcome back to my channel where today we're gonna do these 90s y2k sets if you are new here i am kitty close 18 and i love nails and to all my turning subscribers i was gonna say rescribers oh my lord to all my returning subscribers hey what's up anyway we're gonna be doing this combo set and what i mean by combo set is i'm taking these soft gel tips that i got from you guessed it she in and i'm doing my a press dupe kind of set and what i mean by combo is my cat just want to be famous <laughs> what i mean by combo set is i'm applying these like gel x dupe set but i'm also using acrylic in this set okay so you saw me etch the inside of the nail and then i primed my natural nail and then i'm going in with my cody's rubber based coat and i put that on my natural nail as you'll see me do and then i believe i use the born pretty like a uh, gel glue thing in my jiggy i'll leave it linked in the description box below and that's what i've been using lately to adhere the nail tips um for like my a press dupe kind of nail so um again it's a combo set meaning usually when you're doing these sets you kind of just keep going with like gel i did it <laughs> i applied everything um as you normally do okay and i added acrylic and they came out fine and they looked bomb if i do say so myself and I, the set I'm doing today, I, I got so many compliments on it. It was, they were so beautiful. I loved them. Anyway, we'll jump into that. You guys will see. But I'm applying my nail tip. Um, I'm not the absolute best at this when I'm doing it for myself. First of all, I always get air bubbles because I'm just slow when I'm doing it to myself. Like, I'm not even gonna lie. Uh, it's better and it's faster when I do it for somebody else, which is usually how that goes. Uh, you know what I mean? Um, or sometimes that's how it goes. And then, or because sometimes it could be the opposite. You could do it so great for you and then you're like, oh, how did I mess that up on this person? <laughs> right? Anyway, just depends. Just depends. So, the other thing that happens to me. I don't know if it happens to you guys, but let me know. Okay. I always put a nail on crooked. Oh my goodness. Okay. Why? Now, disclaimer. My pointer finger, my my pointer finger and my middle finger on my left hand, they are they are slightly crooked. I'm not gonna lie to you. And then on my um right hand, my pointer finger again is crooked. But you learn to combat that. You follow the knuckle usually. Or, you know, if, if you lean into the left, you put the tip on a little bit to the right. You just want the nail to look straight. You know, little, little tips and tricks, right? But your girl, forever. I'm telling y'all right now, and this is me just being honest. I always end up having to soak one of the nails off because they're crooked. And I'm not even going to lie to you. I do. And I'm, I, I'd be like, you should be ashamed of yourself <laughs> to myself. But I'm like, listen, it happens. It happens. Anyway, once the tip is fully applied, you know, you, you flash cure to make sure they're on good. And then I fully cured it for my whole hand for 60 seconds. And now I'm going in with my sanding band. This is a 240 grit sanding band and this is sped up. I am not this harsh on my nails. And I'm going around just getting all the excess gel and um, etching the uh, outer layer of the nail. Because like I said, I am going to be using acrylic. And this is me in real time. Um. Anyway, so... Um, this is how I measure my nails. So I use um, a nail form and I stick like three or four of them together. So three on one side, three on the other side, pretty much. And that's what I use to measure. And that's it. That's all. <laughs> Everybody, a lot of people have been using um, uh, the magnet trick, which is really cool. I'm going to I'm gonna try it out, see how, how comfortable I am with that. But I've been using the, the foil, nail foil. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I've been using the nail form to do my measuring. And it's been working out. I measure for myself. I measure for my clients. And I get them all the same length that way. Um, so, yeah. And also, the numbers that's on the form correlates to, for me, the pricing of a person's nail when they come to me. Because, yes, the longer lengths, I do charge more because I'm using more product. I'm doing a little bit more stuff to it. 
um, especially for my nail girlies that come and they get the works done. And yes, I cut my thumbs shorter than the rest of my nails um, because that helps me function. Okay? Auntie who? My thumb, as you can see, I didn't record because I thought I was in frame when I was recording my thumb. And your girl was not. So I didn't get that. I did like a four color ombre on the thumb. And then I was going to do that um, to every finger. And I'm like, no, nah, let's spice it up. So I am using Eye Gel Beauty Acrylic. Um, I will list I will list the colors down below. I Gel Beauty is the acrylic line. You will find it in my description box as under my constant go-tos. Everything that I use all the time or that I just have in my collection, they're all, they're gonna be there. So you just go there and you'll find the I Gel Beauty link. But at this point in the game, a lot of people know who I Gel Beauty is, okay? Especially when they were they used to be having that sixty percent off sale. Listen racked up i racked up i'm not gonna lie to you um i'm just making a tie-dye like i'm literally putting colors wherever i feel they should go um my only suggestion when you're doing it like this keep your beads more wet on the on the wet side um so that they don't come out chunky um meaning thick when i, when I say chunky i mean thick um because you're not necessarily building the nail you're just using i'm just using the acrylic as a design and i kind of just tie dye it in and now you'll see me adding the gold foil which adds an extra a pizzazz to the nail but yeah the only thing i would say about when you're doing the actual acrylic just be mindful look at me struggling with this foil child Anyway, the only thing I would say when you're doing the colors is be don't over manipulate it. Do not overthink it. Put it down, pat it, let it roll, move on. If you overwork it and over manipulate it and just overthink it, you end up getting like mud. And just the colors don't just it does not work well. What I do suggest is when you're combining certain colors, kind of know what colors make other colors because that then makes your blend more beautiful. Meaning, I will always blend pink and blue because they will. you will always get a cast off of purple. I will blend yellow and like a red or a pink because you get like this beautiful orangey tone. So when you know what colors kind of make other colors, that's the best combinations to kind of put together when you're doing something like this or even an ombre like I did on my thumb because those colors bleed into the next color and they turn into this tertiary color. I told y'all I know words. I told y'all. But that's just color wheel theory. Just if you look up the color wheel, you don't even have to be like you know, uh, uh, just so supreme in the colors. Just look, Google it. Google your best friend. And that's it. Anyway, so you saw me, of course, I didn't record that part, but I did cap my nails in clear, okay? You don't cap your nails. All that hard work you did is going to go down the toilet, Okay. I capped my nails, I filed, I went around with an extra fine drill bit to my cuticle area, and then I sand my sanding bed to smooth everything out. And now I'm using Lavender Violet's um, Matte Gel Polish. I bought I bought this off of, you guessed it, Shein. Even with all her Rico charges, child, I bought it from Shein. Um, and the Lavender Violet, I saw one of my other favorite nail youtubers and of course now that i'm doing my voiceover i can't remember her name like oh my goodness i'm gonna put her name across the screen and i saw her use that brand of like gel polish um a top coat and i said oh when i saw it on sheen i was like i'm buying this and it was actually cheaper on sheen than on amazon so i, I did purchase it and i used their matte and their um top coat so i have both so for this i go over with matte cure it for 60 seconds because i am doing the line work for that 90s into the 2000s nail look which was very popular we did a lot of line work back then a lot of, lot of lines a lot of lines um but yeah i loved this set i got so many compliments on this set and so many people listen it's bible nothing new under the sun okay Things come back. 
especially style trends these things come back and the y2k the 90s into the y2k era is coming back from the clothes the hairstyles to nails and i love it i'm here for it i'm living my best life in it i got so many compliments for this nail set um people my age and older and younger like they were like oh my gosh your nails are so good <laughs> um and i i love that i love that i love that um and i love how these turned out they were so bright and fun and summery and it did give me a bit of nostalgia okay um here you'll see me just going in with the white to kind of bring out everything even more as you can see the white brightens it up and it adds a little extra and then you'll see me come in with a little um sparkle but the old school sparkle remember we used to get the glitter the glitter silver or the glitter gold to add the pizzazz <laughs> oh my god nostalgia anyway You'll see me coming with that, and then you'll see me top coat with IBD gel. I'm, I've um, gone back to my first love, which is IBD uh, gel top coat. I started my nail journey 2018 with IBD gel, and life has come full circle. Licensed doing nails and everything, and I'm IBD gel top coat. It's still boss. It's still boss. Right now, she's my number one. And my Koopa, she's, she's coming in a strong second right now to my IBD. I'm not even going to hold you. I'm not going to hold you. Um, yeah. So you're going to watch me do all that. All that. And then you're going to see me add the, yeah, the sparkles are coming with the glitter. And, um, yeah, your girl said dots is not enough. So I added white lines too. You all know I'm extra. You all know I'm extra. There was no bling on this set because it didn't need it. It was just about the 90s style because I, I don't know about anybody else, but for where I grew up back in the day, I grew up in Brooklyn, New York. I was in Brooklyn, New York in the 90s and the 2000s, okay? And when we were doing our nails back then, it wasn't bling. Bling wasn't the thing. Bling is a thing now, and bling is a big thing for me personally, but it wasn't the thing. We didn't really... At least I don't remember us getting a lot of bling but the this line work oh yeah i remember that i remember that i remember marble and i remember the god awful french we used to do <laughs> let me not say god awful you know why it was an era and we lived in it okay i'm not gonna say god awful it was an era okay we lived our era but it was that it was either you got a super thin white line for her french or you got that big thickum line with that was half the nail <laughs> <laughs> and you may have if if your nail tech or the you know in the salon they felt nice that day they would have gave you a slight curve but it was still half your doggone nail oh, oh my goodness there he go like he lived my arrow you hear him in the background i don't know if y'all can hear him but my cat out here singing anyway um so yeah i was just living my best life here's my sparkle coming in i enjoyed this set so much so so much and um you guys tell me what you think drop the comment down below like i said give me a thumbs up let me hear your nail stories but yeah guys this is how they came out oh my god i loved this set i don't know about you i did i'm i, I was happy with it i don't know you guys let me know what you think because i was happy um but yeah that's it guys that is it that's all like i said drop all them comments down below everything you'll need will be linked in the description box Kitties, stay safe, stay blessed, stay prayed up. And until next time, bye, kitties.